Okay, and, and the next important group of AML categories to consider in our very simple basic bot here with a unique personality is going to be uh, so-called reduction categories. Now in the file Atomic we already created categories for hello, bye, please, and thanks. But there are many different ways of saying these responses. In other words, each of these has many synonyms. And the way we handle synonyms in AIML is by creating some uh, so-called reduction categories. So we will create a new AML file. And in this file, we're going to consider variations of the ways we have of saying those atomic inputs. So for example, we've got one for hello. There are many ways of saying hello. The client could say hi. If the client says hi, we simply want to treat that as though they had actually said hello, which is something we have a response for. And the way to accomplish that in AIML is to use the SRAI tag, the recursive linking tag, and simply link the uh, response to hi to the response to hello. In other words, if the client says hi, it's exactly the same as if they had said hello. And there are many different synonyms for hi, so we can use the form of this category over and over again for each of the possible synonyms of the word hello. And then, of course, we can do that for all of the other um, atomic inputs we have. For example, we have one for goodbye. Or the, actually, we have the pattern for bye already. So we can add the synonym goodbye. And we're going to save these as a file called reduce. Again, testing our bot with the training interface. We can now say hello or howdy or greetings and get the same response as if we had said hello by itself. Now let's go back to our AML. Another group of categories which is important are categories that contain personal or biographical information about the bot. So Let's create a new AML file. Where we're going to put some of this biographical information. For example, if someone asks, what is your name? We want the bot to respond with its name. Actually, as we'll see later, sometimes it's better to put the response to a uh, an input like what is your name into the simplest possible form that you can think of using the, the fewest number of words. 
So instead of associating this response with the input, what is your name, let's just use the word name. And we're going to save this as a file called bio.aiml. Again, using the training section, we can have a conversation with our bot where we ask the bot's name using the input name. Returning to our reduce category, we can now consider other ways of asking the bot for its name. For example, we can say, what is your name? And this is going to be symbolically linked to the response name. Now there are of course many variations of saying what is your name, so let's include a few of those here. And this is an instance when you can create many AIML categories rapidly with simple cut and paste operations and slight amount of editing. Again, we'll try having a conversation with the bot and say name what is your name and identify yourself all of which give the same response finally we have one more group of categories to consider for this bot and these are so-called uh, rewriting categories which, t which are similar to the reduction categories we've already looked at but they involve um, the case of having a wildcard in the pattern. So it's sort of a combination of the reduce patterns with the wildcard patterns. Let's take a look at what I mean by that. We'll create a new AML file. And suppose the input is, uh, tell me what your name is. Well, anytime somebody says, tell me what X is, or what something is, that, that input can always be treated the same as if they had said, what is X, or what is something. And in AML, the uh, star tag is used to insert whatever value matched the wildcard in the pattern. And this is going to be saved in a file called reduce r. Again, we'll test this with the conversational interface and say, tell me what your name is. Pandora Bots has matched the tell me what star is category and rewritten that input as if it was what is your name. And thus we have the response, you can call me unique. So this concludes our very basic overview of how to create a totally unique Pandora bot from scratch, which has all of its own content, which could be in a foreign language, or it could be a unique personality, which is proprietary to you, the bot master. We'll be continuing this series of Pandora bots instructional videos, and thank you for joining us today for this story of creating your own unique Pandora bot from scratch.